Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today I'm going to tie a, a little cormorant pattern. Um, this is uh, time of year for for uh, uh, the chase be chasing pin fry and stuff. Well, I mean they do that all year long, but the pin fry have grown up a bit, so uh, they're uh, they're chasing these little buggers in the in the, especially in the flats. Um, so quite often uh, here in Alberta, we'll be doing a a uh, three fly system so we'll have uh, like a gurgler or a fab or something like that on the point um, with a uh, boatman and a, and a cormorant um, is what I really like doing so alrighty so here we go so we're gonna start off with a uh, hens BL 454 barbless size 8 I really like these hooks because they got a really nice wide gap uh, I'll be using some uh, Semperfly nano silk in the black for the thread um, for the uh, rib and body for the body I'll be using some Semperfly mirror tinsel and it's molted silver so it's kind of black silver it's really thin so it, it'll take multiple wraps but um, this one doesn't have a tag on it this is uh, the um, Semperfly um, hollow tinsel in red and small um, for the uh, wing, I'll be using some Hens Marabou in black. And then for the, uh, um, I gotta put a couple of pieces of flash in that wing as well. Just gonna use some of the Semperfly Gala and Red blend. It's one of my favorite blends from them. And then um, I'll also be putting on a couple of cheeked or hot spots, and it's gonna be the uh, Semperfly Synthetic uh, Jungle Cock. So let's get going. So first things first, get rid of the crap on your desk. Um, wax your thread. Make sure this sticks to this hook really well. So give her a good wax. Lay down a base layer. And I'll take a little bit of the red tinsel. And I'm going to, this is uh, going to be the rib. So I'm going to lay that in. I'm going to come forward a bit. Catch that in. Come back to about the point of the hook, maybe a little bit past it. Get that out of the way. Then get a bit of the... Uh, the mirror tinsel, that molted silver. Really like the way this stuff looks. Um, it, it, like I said, I wish it was a little bit uh, um, wider for this fly, but uh, it's it's just fine. It just takes just a little longer just to make sure that you cover the whole fly. But again, just come to the back, then I come forward, and I leave myself about a hook and a, a hook eye and a half to two hook eyes of space. I always give myself just a little bit of a half hitch here. Whip finish just to so if I bump the if I bump it it uh, doesn't get knocked off. So now like I said this does take a little bit because it's so thin right so and just be careful this hollow tinsel is great stuff but it uh, this mirror tinsel sorry it's great stuff but it also does uh, it can break quite easily. Just be careful with it. I just, uh, I, I use the silver hollow tinsel as well and bra a gold hollow tinsel and a copper hollow tinsel for the body. But I really like the effect that this stuff gives, this molted silver. Um, and I've done quite well with it um, in the lakes here in Alberta. So... Cut that off, take that off to the side. So there we go. It gives that bit of a of a dark look there, like in dark, like almost like it's ribbed. But so now I'm gonna go back about three, four turns and then come back over top of it again. Want a little bit of a red butt there, and then I'm just gonna open that up. Okay. Tie that off, cut that off, 
Now, because this is uh, tinsels and stuff, and especially the fish I'm going after, which are browns and tigers, really toothy buggers, so I like putting just a, a thin coat of UV resin over top of this stuff just to help so it doesn't get torn. All right, because this stuff will tear fairly easy. So I'm just gonna just gonna spread it just so it's all covered. It doesn't have to be a thick layer or anything, just a nice thin layer of it. If you've got the time and you want to do a bunch of bodies, it can do uh, uh, like a Sally Hansen's instead, but. Just warming that up. There we go. So there you go. So now I'm just going to come back just a little ways here. I'm going to grab my marabou feather. I'm going to pinch off about a thumb's width off of it, off the stem. Maybe a little tiny bit more than the width of my thumb. Don't want these too overdressed. I want these fairly thin. So then I'm just going to gather my little package. I'm going to wet my fingers. I just give that a that a wet. It just helps keep this... Uh, Helps keep it uh, a little uh, more under control. Wax my thread. Really want to wax your thread when you're putting on this marabou. Just helps hold it. I'm just gonna come back just a little bit more. Just hold that on there. Don't want it in the eye. But nice and tight. Okay. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna go. To the bend of the hook not further maybe a tiny bit further but that's it I don't want this very long that's it okay so there's my my wing now we'll take one strand of that gala and red blend just one single strand And I double it up. So I've doubled up my my strand. And then I'm just going to lay it on one side, having it lay back further. You know what? I don't like that one. It doesn't have enough red in it. Because some of these have a lot of red. Some of these have a lot of blue. Um, that's the uh, that's why it's a, it's a blend, right? So quite often you... you uh, need to find the right one um, da -da -da. Do that again. try that again there we go there's a nice red one so again fold that over lay that along the side my side flip it over to your side just so it's laying kind of in the middle there. Yep, there we go. So that's good. Take my scissors and cut this just, just ever so slightly longer than the tail. Okay, so when that's laying back, you'll just have that little slick, right? Just a little bit of red in that, in that uh, wing, right? Just a little bit. Okay, now that that's done, I will take a two eyes off of my synthetic jungle cock here from Semperfly. You can use real jungle cock if you've got it. Um, I obviously I prefer the real. Um, it just moves better but this, this synthetic for this type of fly works really well. Um, it's just a hot spot and uh, it, uh, it's almost perfect for this. So I want to tie that in about right, right where that the white eye is. So I'm not going to leave it too long. You'll see it better once I put it onto your side. Okay, get another one off the sheet here. I hope you guys are out. And, well, I don't know when this video is coming up, but uh, this is uh, the Sunday of the long of the S September long weekend. Hope you guys are out there fishing. I'm not. I'm. Uh, I've got things around the house to do, and plus I'm 
Gonna be going out for a little bit over a little bit over a week in mid September here. Got my buddies coming from Cam from uh, Vancouver, so gonna go do some uh, tiger and brown and maybe even do a little bit of a little bit of uh, uh, pike fishing we'll see so sometimes you'll get you'll end up with a little bit longer of a head than you than you wish like this one yeah it's borderline long right so what I'll do then is if it is I'll just take the slightest little bit of the uh, oh where is it hen's peacock dub and I'll just get the uh, the dark black one and I'll just take an ever so slight little bit and just dub it on I don't always do this it just depends on how my my head finishes up and I just put a little bit of one right at the a little bit right at the front there and then I'll come back right behind the eye I said if you don't if you if you were if you had your proportions down right, which sometimes, well, most of the time I do, um, you don't have to do that. But I actually kind of like having a little bit of both in my box because now I've got that little bit of a shine in the head too. And I'll just take my my uh, Velcro, just give that just a little bit of a of a pull out, and it'll kind of go over top of that, right? So then when this gets all sl slicked back, there's your little little cormorant. That's it. Fairly simple fly to tie. Uh, and those nice, those, those uh, jungle cock hot spots really uh, attract the fish as well. And that uh, marabou moves nicely, so it can be taken as a leech as well. Um, and I, like I said, I really like these on these wide gaped hooks. Um, just gives that fish just a bit more of a chance to, to bite. But yeah, it's a really, really good pattern. They've been using cormorants in one shape or another for uh, half a century, if not longer, in the, in the UK and uh, they've been extremely successful and I've been using them here now for well five years and they're just deadly so hope you guys enjoyed that one if you did give her a thumbs up if you subscribe thank you if you have not please consider doing so um, and uh, once the uh, fishing season is over once hard water hits here I'll start uh, probably start doing three videos a week um, I'll probably do a couple of tying videos and one gear rev uh, review video or something like that so alrighty Tie lines, everyone.